Hey guys, Afro Pinkit here. You're watching Footage, and news has been super, super slow lately. Yes, very slow. So in today's episode, I'm pretty much going to give you tons of little stories. And I hope you guys enjoy these little stories because honestly, there's not that much going on. Oh, what? Oh, breaking news, breaking news. Well, Google has just come out with another Motorola phone. Uh, well, Motorola has just come out with a new phone. It looks like this is the Droid Razor Blade now. It, is, it has been leaked. And they saying that they're saying that it is the exact same specs, or just a little. No, no. Oh, well, well no, no, not the exact same specs. Whew, that was a close look. Um, it's gonna look just like the Droid Razor, uh, a tad different uh, uh, front, but it's gonna be rocking with an Intel processor. That's that's our breaking news right now. Oh, and then in oh, and it looks like in in a couple months from from when that phone is released, they're gonna come out with a a Droid uh, Razor Blade Max. And then after that, a Droid Razor Blade Max 2. And, um, oh, well, yeah, it looks like we have a lot of Motorola phones coming this year. News about the original Droid Razor. A lot of people bought the original Droid Razor, but then what, like a month later, the Droid Razor Max came out with a oh, way better battery life? So before you get upset and slap yourself for not waiting for the Droid Razor Max, CellPhoneRepairShop.com, I'll have a link below, is actually giving you guys a kit for around $110 where you guys can convert your Droid Razors into a Droid Razor Max. This is a little bit surprising to me because the original Droid Razor is a little bit thinner than the Droid Razor Max because they said that the Droid Razor Max battery needs a little bit more room. However, according to Cell Phone Repair Shop, they have successfully transformed a Droid Razor into a Droid Razor Max. So technically, if you do this, you will have a Droid Razor Max 2.0 that's even skinnier than the Droid Razor Max originally. For $110, mm, might be worth it. To other news, we all love some ice cream sandwich every once in a while. And no, I'm not talking about the ice cream sandwich food. You know, that was that was a couple episodes ago. But I am talking about Android's 4.0 ice cream sandwich. So if you guys just cannot wait to get ice cream sandwich on your phone, there is another option. And that is Kobe's ice cream sandwich tablets for a bargain. No, it's not really called for a bargain, but you know, they are pretty cheap. So as you can see, I'll give you guys the picture right here. Now overall, the tablet itself doesn't look that bad. One thing that is disappointing, obviously, is the specs. It only comes with a one gigahertz single core processor, uh, four to eight gigs of storage, and I think only 256 or maybe a half gig of RAM. But it does come with an SD card slot, HDMI, and a front facing camera. But the most disappointing thing about this tablet, and we see this a lot in aftermarket tablets and especially tablets coming from China, is that there's no access to Google Play. So the way that you would have to download your Android apps is through the web, get the .apk file, and then install it. You can pick up these tablets for $180 for the 4 gig and for the 8 gig, $280. And the last story for today's episode is that a new study has come out saying that 87% of iPhone 4S users use Siri. Now, I'm actually surprised that 87% of iPhone 4S users actually use Siri. Now, the study is talking about at least using Siri once a month. So it's not like they're using it every single day in one month. And I do have to admit, I don't really use Siri as much. The only time I use Siri is when I'm in the car and I have to text someone uh, saying that I'm driving or I'll be home soon. So I'll be like, uh, Siri, uh, tell my mom that I'm gonna be home soon. Yes, I'm a mama's boy. My mama needs to know when I'm gonna be home safely. Respect your mamas. But really, I don't use Siri as much, but technically it's still in beta and blah, blah, blah. But hey, just a study out there. And for all you guys that use iPhone fluorescents, do you guys use Siri? Please leave in the comments below. And the last, last story today is another story by Apple. Wait, wait, what? Oh, you don't, you don't, you guys don't wanna hear another story by Apple? And what? Android rules? Oh, okay, okay, I know. I, what? Apple Apple sucks. Is that is that? That's what I'm hearing from all these all these Android uh, viewers right now. I'm just hearing your guys' voices through my camera right now. So you, you guys don't want to? Are you sure? Because I have a really juicy story about Apple. You don't want to hear it? Okay. Well, the the majority of you guys say you guys don't want to hear it out there. Okay. So uh, I'm Afro Pin Kid, and I'll see you guys in the next Phone Lunch episode. Peace. <laughs> Bubble, 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 bubble